guys, Jack here, and welcome to episode 103 of The Road to Glory, here with FC United of Manchester. Hopefully you guys are good. Since the last episode, there's been a few games to tell you guys about. As always, you know, if you missed last episode, it was a big tie against uh, Manchester United. So if you did miss it, go back and check that out, as always. Looking at our fixtures since then, uh, a few fixtures to tell you about in various competitions. Today we have the FA Cup semi-final versus Arsenal. Going to be a tough tie for us, but let's have a quick look at the league form first. Uh, so as you can see here, since the Manchester United game, we've played four league games, won all of them. We beat Wolverhampton Wanderers 1-0, pretty standard performance, it has to be said. Um, we were sl We edged it in terms of being the better side. To be fair to Wolves, they created a fair share of chances and they are up there in the league in terms of, you know, they're they're in seventh, so it wasn't really an easy game, but we did come through it good. Uh, on the back of this, 2-0 uh, no win against Fulham was a good result uh, at home, a game that we completely dominated, uh, I guess more of a normal performance compared to the Wolves one, really limiting our opposition to having very few chances, and it was pleasing to see the amount of chances on target that we were able to create this game. And then on the back of this, two more games, a 3-0 win and a 2-1 win against QPR. Uh, both results fairly convincing. Uh, Well-deserved 3-0 win here. Payrod grabbing two goals, as you'd expect. Alfredo Senior grabbing the third goal. And then against QPR, uh, a 2-1 win. A game which we were pretty lucky in, it has to be said. Uh, I've had to rotate the squad fairly heavily because of uh, just the fixture congestion and still being in the FA Cup and Europa League. And so it's been tough to keep all my players fit. But uh, the rotated squad did do the job here in a slightly less than convincing manner. But nevertheless, good result. Uh, looking at our Europa League quarterfinal, it was against FC20. Uh, first leg, we actually lost 1-0. And I was getting a little bit worried when this happened. Because last episode, I talked about, oh, I expect us to win this. I'm, I'm not worried. But going 1-0 down after the first leg was a little bit nervy. Fortunately for us, we did match my kind of expectations uh, from the side in the second leg. Winning 4-0 very convincingly, four different players on the score sheet, completely dominating the game and all in all just a really impressive home performance. So with that said, uh, we're now in the FA Cup semi-final as well as the Europa semi-final so next episode will be the Europa semi-finals. Uh, looking at the teams still in the competition, we've got Bucharest, um, Tottenham Hotspurs and Dynamo Moscow as well as ourselves so two English teams there potentially uh, an all English final uh, today we have the FA Cup semi-final against uh, Arsenal Liverpool have already made it to the final so this is to decide who plays them it's going to be a tough tie for us uh, just a quick look at the league table before we get into today's game. You will see now we are in fourth place. Uh, we have five games left. Everyone else has four games. And looking at it, if we were to win our games in hand, we'd go top of the league. So it's almost as if it's our league to throw away in many respects. That said, uh, it's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imaginations. And I'd much rather be in the position that other teams are in whereby there's pressure on us to succeed. Uh, in our remaining five games, we have Leicester, Reading, West Ham, Arsenal, and Blackburn uh, so Blackburn is not going to be uh, the hardest game ever they're bottom of the league Arsenal's the one that really stands out to me as one that you know could go either way uh, Leicester West Ham and Reading are all in the bottom half of the table so you'd really expect us to go out there and perform against them uh, as best as we can but without any further ado, let's get straight into today's game. I am playing with players who are a little bit tired. The reason for this being is that despite the fact I have rotated the squad, uh, you know, there is some ex exhaustion within the camp, but we do have to beat this team, uh, the, well, beat this strong Arsenal team, I suppose, as much as anything. I have made a few little changes just, you know, to fully rotate the squad and make sure that um, players are getting kind of match fit, uh, but... To be honest, I'm not too worried here. It's all about just giving a good performance. If we go through, we go through. Arsenal are a very strong side on this save. Uh, obviously, um, recently we've not lost to them. We're now over 40 games in the Premier League unbeaten. I mean, you can see our record here against them. We've actually played each other 15 times as teams. We've won four, drawn five, and they've won six. So it really could go either way. Two very, le very evenly matched sides. Playing with a few players who could do with a rest, as I've already mentioned, but I'm hoping that that isn't going to hurt us too badly going into this game. Uh, it's going to be a tricky one, but we are at home, so hopefully home advantage will come into its own and we can do well here. So, tell the players to go out and enjoy themselves and then tell the midfield that I have faith in them to make a difference. Hopefully we can give a good performance here. Um, 
it, it, it's not going to be easy. Arsenal play a very similar system to us with the kind of five at the back, and then they only play a lone forward. Uh, so I'm really hoping we can kind of shut them down, hopefully get a fair share of the ball in the centre, despite the fact we kind of match each other in terms of the shapes that we play. But it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, you may also see in the top right, Jean-Christophe Perriard, um is exhausted. I am going to probably sub him off midway through this half. Um, I, I wanted to play him just so to see if he could really make a difference for us. Um, as of yet, no one's really made a mark on the game at half time. It's been a pretty boring affair so far, but I'm still hopeful that we can come good in this game. Um, I'm just wondering if this game's at Wembley or not, because the FA Cup's semi finals are usually played at Wembley. Um, so it might be at Wembley, so there might not even be home advantage here. I'm not sure how FM plays it. Uh, looking at the stats, you can see we're really dominating this game in terms of just uh, controlling the ball, uh, creating far more chances compared to Arsenal. Uh, but unfortunately, as of yet, no one's managed to break the deadlock. Um, I'm going to make a few changes now, uh, just because um, I don't want Payrod getting injured, despite the fact he's so exhausted. You know, I need to rotate the squad as best as possible. I'm also going to bring on Prest for Nazarov because Nazarov's getting pretty tired, and oh, I don't know. Mm, I, I might have to sub off Peraria uh, midway uh, a little bit later. It just depends on if the game goes to extra time or not. I, I'm kind of hesitant to use all three subs. Uh, knowing that potentially there could be another half an hour to play in this game. But looking at the stats, as you can see, we really are dominating it. We've got to really hope we can close out this game and grab a goal, uh, considering the fact that, well, um, the, the, it could go to extra time and we're on top here, and it'd be a shame if we were not able to kind of do, I suppose, better in this game. So right there... Um, Silkin took a knock, so good job I didn't use that third sub. Uh, Luke Shaw's able to come on our first choice left back, who I had been resting. Uh, but I'm hoping he'll come good for us here. Still performing really well. End of 90 minutes. Um, I'm going to tell them to keep um, keep going out there and you can win. Uh, how is that affecting the team performance? People are reacting fairly well. Um I'm going to switch to a get ball forward and then work ball into the box and hopefully we can create create a few more opportunities. I'm also going to switch to balanced rather than being rigid. Try and maybe commit a few men up. Uh, you know, we've, we've been in control of this game, it has to be said. Having more of the ball, we need to grab a goal though. It'd be a shame if we were to dominate so badly and say go out on penalties. Um, so looking to kind of convert the possession that we're having into chances. So good play here so far by the team. Hopefully we can craft down opportunities. Luke Shaw's finding some space. Alfredo Senior has options inside. Finds Pereira. Jao Jose with a shot. Saved. Alfredo Senior with the rebound. That makes it 1-0. Two minutes into added time. Great goal there. Barboza the sub coming on and playing a vital role in that goal. Look at the possession. It's good to see us finally convert our kind of chances here. Uh, Barboza getting that crucial tackle and then Alfredo Senior just there with the tidy near post finish. So, looking good for us now. Although Arsenal may have a chance here, unless we're going to go and grab another. I mean, this this has been an absolutely superb performance, and it's credit to how far the team's come. Barbosa's there. Bury that, my son. That makes it 2-0. I think the game is dead here. Arsenal look exhausted. We've been dictating the play all game. They've not created a shot on target. We've just been a superior side on the day, it has to be said. Barbosa, the super sub, with an assist now, and a goal, which has been superb by him. Great ball here by Zhao Jose and then Barboza with his off the ball and pace and strength just able to plough through three centre-backs there trying to mark him up but he, he was not phased by them and it looks like uh, Arsenal are kind of just rolling on their back now and accepting their fate as we are, we are just creating chance after chance. Really good solid defensive performance it has to be said. Um, you know, playing with the three at the back, I always was kind of hesitant to remove the anchor man. It was obviously something I did in January, and since then it's been an absolutely massive turnaround uh, by the players, uh, kind of to see us win win games and still be in lots of major competitions. Uh, it's going to be tricky, I think, to rotate the squad. I'm going to have to prioritise what tournament that I want to win. Obviously, with us now being in the final of the FA Cup, potentially, and unless things go drastically wrong... Um, the Europa League has got to be my next focus. I mean, if we could do a treble and win all three, it would be insane. I've been kind of for years, I thought with this save, um, although I had the players, it just wasn't clicking for whatever reason. And with this new tactic, it 
it's all just come together. The players are working really well together, plays to our strengths, the wing backs are performing well with it. All in all, the team's just been really superb. Uh, just playing this new shape and we have another chance here saved by the keeper but really piling on more pressure and it's great to see us dominating a side like Arsenal who are actually above us in the table at the moment uh, with with our game in hand that is so I mean this is really good to see and I think that's going to be the game now so great performance we are going to be going to Wembley for the FA Cup final it's our club's uh, first ever domestic cup final which is absolutely insane um and I'm very happy and it's going to be it's going to be exciting stuff so great performance there uh people predicting that Arsenal were going to maybe go through on a penalty shootout uh or maybe that we were going to go through on the penalty shootout but either way we have proved them wrong superb performance by the team Barboza and Alfredo senior with the goals and what that means is that we now go to um we go to Wembley again. I think we were playing at Wembley, judged by the 90,000 capacity. So that's great to see. But now our first ever major domestic cup final will be uh, played this year, which is insane. And we have the potential to do it again in the Europa League coming up. But anyway, guys, I'm going to cut off the video here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode as always. Next episode will be the Europa Cup against Dynamo Moscow. Uh, I'm going to do the first leg and the second leg, I think, next episode, but I probably won't cover much else. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video as always, please give the video a like. It does help me out, helps people find the videos, and shows me that you guys are enjoying the content. With that said, as I've already said, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. It is me, Jack, guys, and I'm out.